and I don't know whether two or three years from now that that as many people will fly as many passenger miles as as uh, they did last year. They may and they may not. It's, it's, uh, but the future is much less clear to me. Warren Buffett made headlines recently after his recent virtual Berkshire Hathaway annual shareholders meeting. Buffett sold all of his shares in the major US airlines and Berkshire announced a record quarterly net loss of nearly $50 billion. Berkshire had held sizable positions around 10% in the major US airlines. Uh, I just decided that I'd made a mistake uh, in evaluating as an understandable mistake. It was a probability weighted decision when we bought that we were getting uh, an attractive amount for our money when investing across the airlines business. So we bought roughly 10% of the four largest airlines. As well as this, Buffett also allowed Berkshire's cash stake to rise to a record $137.3 billion from $128 billion at the end of 2019. Clearly, as he is selling at a significant loss, Buffett believes that there is further pain ahead for the airlines. The investing goat is clearly not somebody who falls for the sunk cost fallacy. Moreover, his cash position indicates that he doesn't believe that we have reached the bottom for the stock market yet, although he wouldn't give specifics. Uh, I'm not saying that this is the right time to buy stocks. If you mean by right that they're going to go up instead of down, I don't know what they're going to go in the next day or week or month or year. But I hope I know enough to know. Well, I, I, I think I can buy a cross section and do fine over 20 or 30 years. Others, however, are more explicitly bearish. I still think that we're gonna have the worst recession since the Great Depression. It will make 2008-9 look like a flesh wound. Now we're facing the worst economic recession of our lifetimes. The numbers are certainly not looking good. The numbers so far confirm, unfortunately, that we're on track for that. Um, whether it's today's jobless claims, which, as you pointed out, takes the total number to 30 million, in just six weeks, 30 million, that is 18% of the work of the labor force, or whether it's yesterday's um, GDP number that suggests that th the second quarter hit may be as big as minus 40. Now, I want to highlight something I mentioned before, but it's important to repeat. 1,640 CEOs left their posts in 2019, the highest year on record since tracking began in 2002. For context, there were 1,484 exits in 2008 when the country was embroiled in the financial crisis. This trend has continued in 2020. In January, a record 219 CEOs left their posts, the highest month on record. The economy was going to crash anyway, it was inevitable. The bottom line is that one should be prepared, bearing in mind what I said before about the main demand for equities over the last decade coming from corporate stock buybacks. It is very telling that in the second quarter of 2019, we saw a significant decline in those. So we have painted a pretty clear picture, the writing is on the wall. However, they were afraid of massive protest against corporate greed, massive social unrest, etc. So they needed a diversion that would provide an excuse. People will think that the crash was solely due to the virus and not the numerous fundamental economic and structural issues at play. To highlight just a few, we've had the yield curve inversion, the repo madness, record corporate debt, and corporations being the main source of demand for equities via stock buybacks, which enrich executives that hit certain earnings per share targets. Last year, billionaire Peter Thiel, who was part of the notorious PayPal Mafia, spoke on the dangers of American exceptionalism. The doctrine of American exceptionalism. This doctrine that the United States is exceptionally different, um, not commensurate with any other country, can't be compared, um, and, um, and it's, it's one that sort of uh, has, uh, you can, it may, maybe was sort of incarnated in the sort of insanities of the millenarian Bush 43 second inaugural. Um, um, the exceptionalism obscured everything. He argues that this has made America exceptionally unself-critical. Um, what I think has happened in practice is that exceptionalism, um, the doctrine of exceptionalism, has led to a country that's exceptionally overweight, that's exceptionally addicted to opioids, 
that has an exceptionally dysfunctional public infrastructure where it costs 10 times as much to build a mile of subway as it does in socialist Western Europe, um, that is, in short, exceptionally unself-aware, exceptionally unself-critical. Nothing can stop America when you get right down to it. In the end, the answer is never bet against America. And uh, uh, that, in my view, is as true today as it was in 1789. And even was true at the during the Civil War and the depths of the Depression. In other words, never bet against the military industrial complex to enforce American superiority and the power of the dollar as the de facto unit of exchange globally. As smart contracts pioneer Nick Sabo has stated, Buffett's wealth can be measured less in present cash than in a future cash from the Fed he is right up there at the front of the Cantillon line to get. As we have previously discussed, the Cantillon effect basically refers to the fact that fiat printing itself increases inequality. On a more general note, it is important to remember that, despite his gentle image, Buffett is ruthless in his craft. A New York Magazine profile from 1991 stated, Though he appears homey and guileless and cultivates a hayseed image, Buffett can be iron-fisted. According to a senior Solomon trader, Warren looks like a teddy bear, but mentally is he ever tough. Yes, Buffett has dropped numerous gems throughout the years, however his responsibility is to Birch Hathaway and his own sizeable bags. Overall, it would be foolish to overlook Buffett's current cash position. When everything is dirt cheap and we do eventually hit the bottom, he is flush with cash and ready to aggressively sweep up bargains. At the moment, it is clear that he believes that these bargains are not present, and therefore it would be wise to consider the fact that we may have further downside in store. For more compounded valuable content, subscribe and like.